November 15th, 1988. Fasula writes, Today I felt Jesus' cross on my shoulders. I felt his heart filled with tremendous pain. How he suffers for the world that rejects the Lord. She speaks, Lord? The Lord answers, I am. Feel my cross. Rest me, my child of light. I am so weary. Stay near me. I need to be consoled in this desolation. My Vasula, hear me and write. O creation, my seed, I am your Holy One, but you are condemning me. I have loved you from all eternity, but you are despising me. I have delivered you from death, yet you are attacking me. I am feeding you daily with my bread and filling you with my wine, but in your evil you are offending me. I thirst for love, but you abandon me in my thirst. I welcome you when I see you weary to rest you in my heart, yet when I am weary you reject me. I open my heart to you, showing you how you have wounded it. But in your wickedness, you are repeating your stabs, piercing me through and through. I open my arms to welcome you and embrace you, but you turn away, giving me your backs. Full of tenderness, I open my sacred heart to warm you. Yet when I come to you, You shut your door in my face, leaving me outside in the cold. Like a beggar, I call you all day long, stretching out my hands to you, to raise you and heal you. But you, instead, ignore me and reject me. My eyes and those of my mother are worn out with suffering. My body is afflicted by its wounds beyond recognition. All I ask from you is peace and love. But you refuse to hear my pleas. I have come to my own first, but again I was rejected by them, despised and persecuted. You hounded me, treating me as a jester. You betrayed me. The footnote reads, Jesus' voice was full of bitterness. Your betrayal has cost me every tear left in my eyes. Your wickedness has pierced all eternity, leaving even the demons gaping at your wickedness. Ah, Fasula, I have come out of great pity and great mercy to warn you and to deliver you from death. I have conveyed to you my own, but they muffled down my voice, for fear of coming out to light and exposing their guilt. Since they muffle my voice and do not welcome my spirit of truth, I shall have their sins exposed by strangers. I shall have my voice sound like a trumpet on the roofs of your houses. The footnote reads, pause. Then sadly, I have been welcomed by strangers who never knew me. I knocked at their door and they allowed me to enter. In spite of their poverty, they let me share their meal. They have out of their poverty not sought me, yet they have found me. I have showed them my wounds, made my made by my best friends, and they knelt in front of my wounds. On seeing them, struck by their depth, struck by the savagery inflicted on my body, their hearts melted like wax. Do not weep, my child. My voice will be carried by strangers. When you hear the echo, know that it came from me. I will be exalted by strangers who never sought me. 
I will be glorified by those who never knew me. And I will become their master and teach them, and their faults I will dispel. I will reason with them and they will understand me. They will heal my wounds. I am the shepherd, and I shall gather my lambs. Since they were struck by their shepherds and dispersed. Oversula, all this will be fulfilled so soon now. Come, rest in me. Allow me to rest in you. Bonded in love. Let us share. Vasula speaks. Yes, my Lord. The Lord says, we, us. She answers, for eternity. Amen. Amen.